Hi my lovely people! Welcome back to another fabulous video. I have for you a collective haul. I have, I've been buying a bunch of stuff, you know, not just fragrances, but also makeup, body care products, uh, spa stuff, you know, self-care items. I have so many things that I want to share with you guys. I definitely have quite a few fragrances too, so I have a lot for those of you who are fragrance enthusiasts. So before I get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead and subscribe right there, that button, and ring the notification bell because if you don't subscribe and ring the notification bell, you're not going to get notified and you will miss all or most of my videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well, where I post everything I do, everything I buy, and I share my thoughts, I review products on Instagram before I do on YouTube. So let's jump right into this haul. So should I start with fragrances? Since most of you who come here, you love fragrances. So let me start with fragrances. I bought them myself. These weren't sent to me but from my one of my favorite fragrance houses. You guys know how much I love this fragrance house. Of course, it is a Mikolaf and I got, you guys already know I have two a Mikolaf Ylang in Gold. I have the original uh, bottle and then I also was sent the 100ml limited edition bottle that has the nice gold leafing on it. So I have both of those. As if that wasn't enough, I had to go ahead and buy the Ylang in Gold Nectar because you guys that's how much I love this fragrance right here oh my gosh so this is going to be more of a potent more concentrated ish version of Ylang in Gold there'll maybe be like a slight difference in formulation other than the strength it's the special edition bottle so this is just like the you know like the 100 ml regular edp now i'm gonna smell this on this arm because i don't want to waste it mm, this one is you guys is a heightened pumped up version of the ylang in gold in this however i must say more than the vanilla, you can smell the vanilla too, because Ylang in gold, you know, is a very much a Ylang Ylang vanilla. It's a very much a tropical vanilla, as I like to say the origin. I'm talking about the, the EDP. Um, it is a tropical, uh, fruity, floral vanilla. That's the easiest way to put it. However, in this one, I'm smelling a large blast of musk which makes it really strong and that kind of punchy and it's a it's kind of it kind of makes a statement like look at me kind of thing you know mm, if you love Ylang and gold you would love this it's a there's a slight change in the formulation and this is very very much concentrated version the nectar so it's kind of like um, extrait de parfum, but so you guys, this has geranium too. I'm not, I don't remember if the original has geranium, probably does. I feel like I smell the geranium a little bit stronger in this one. And anyway, as you know, the original also has coconut and this has too. Again, I think I smell the coconut more in this one, again, stronger, but there's something very, strongly musky and sexy about this one very very strong very strong it would be really lovely to to combine this and the edp together like wear them layer them together mm. of course this has sandalwood and you know all the other notes um i'm sure I've made almost all the other notes but this one is a little bit stronger and more projecting I think of the original projects amazing too by the way but this is really strong there's a I think a strong dose of musk if I'm not mistaken in here whether it's revealed or not there's something that just sort of jump at you and grabs you you know about this one so yeah I absolutely love it now I get to add this to my Mikloff collection which is growing really fast 
Uh, I have now a Miklaf, the Lang and Gold, the original bottle, the limited edition 100ml bottle, and now I have a Lang and Gold Nectar, which I'm very happy to add to my collection. By the way, guys, if you want any of the Emikala fragrances, buy it from their website. They actually are the only ones that have, if I'm not uh, mistaken, the uh, limited edition bottles and especially the nectars. Only, only you can only get it on Emikala website. I have a discount code for you, uh, a really good discount code for you down in the description box. Check it out. Um, and also you, I believe, get free shipping on orders over 170 US dollars. I'm not sure check it out i'll put all that information down in the description box yeah this is ylangin gold nectar and i also got from the emikalaf website ananda the shower gel and ananda body lotion to go with my two anandas here i have ananda the fragrance the eau de parfum and then i have ananda nectar which is a more concentrated version of ananda so to layer with them i got these two i've already used this twice these two boy does it really heighten the scent of ananda which is like a beautiful fresh goddess that just stepped out of shower beautifully fresh and I got another Emikala fragrance right here that I have been wanting to get for a very long time. It's from the Emikala Mont Parfum line and this one is Emikala Mont Parfum Pearl. You guys, this one is so beautiful. Look at that bottle. I love Emikala bottles. Um, this is like a little string of pearls around the, uh, the logo there. Um, oh, and you can see the juice through the window here. This one, I believe, is being discontinued or going to be discontinued or did i hear it wrong don't quote me on it on this um i'm gonna spray it on the back of my hand here um oh you guys oh my god oh my goodness like emikalaf is a fragrance house that really knows how to make a girl smell like a goddess i really i feel like I'm another level celestial being when I wear their fragrances. Oh my goodness, how do they do that? They, they just are the most, they make like the most beautifully gorgeous feminine goddess level fragrances, you know? Oh my goodness, look at that. That's got a lot of oil, obviously. That Look at that, it's very oily when I spray it. It's like quality right there. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful scent, you guys. Oh my gosh. It smells like the way the bottle looks. Very pretty, like a pretty girl. Again, just like Ananda here, you know, they, they just know how to do pretty girl. They know how to do a beautiful goddess. They just know. Oh, I'm going to smell like a celestial being, goddess. Just, you know, descended from the heavens wearing this. Oh my gosh, you guys, this has the most like pretty rose scent. I feel like it's uh, rose centifolia, you know, rose de mai or one of those expensive roses. You know what, more of a rose centifolia or actually, yeah, it's like one of the pretty, like really pretty rose notes. And this has peony, you guys. You know what a match made in heaven peony is with rose. Oh, peony kind of is like this really pretty pink floral. It really complements rose and make rose smell even more feminine. You know, together they just are a match made in heaven. So this has a little bit of apparently blackberries, which I'm not really picking up. There's rose on two different levels. I think there's rose in the opening, rose in the middle. So... Rose is very strong in here. There's, I think, tangerine for a citrus touch, which is really nice because it's sweet. It's a sweeter cit citrus, which I love. Mm, has a little powderiness from the heliotrope. I think there might be like violet or some other powdery floral in here. There's a lot of like vanilla and musk, obviously, always in a very sexy fragrance. And apparently this has rice powder, which I'm not familiar with what it's, what it adds to a fragrance composition. The massive dose of musk 
is making it really attractive like really beautiful i mean somehow what whatever they do like i'm sure there are a lot more fragrance notes in here that they haven't revealed i'm sm i'm smelling other gorgeous florals in here too oh, it's a very kind of powdery rosy peony scent by the way you guys i think this is either being discontinued or or something because it's actually on sale right now on emikolov website for a really good price and then you can probably i think you can apply my discount code on top of it i'm not really sure but it's down in the description box anyway but this one is already discounted this is going to be gone i think soon so jump on it before it's gone i am going to now talk about a couple of other products that i got actually from amazon so if you guys watched my uh, hawaii vacation vlog series the last episode the last part of like i think part five of my vlog hawaii vacation vlog i showed you guys we went to north shore in hawaii um on the um, main island and uh in that video i showed you we stopped at this macadam macadamia nut farm and they had all these beautiful products like including natural perfume oil and everything scented lotions and creams and whatnot and they also had these like beautiful coconut oils that are scented with like tuberose, you know, pekaki, uh, frangipani, plumeria, all the usual uh, beautiful tropical floral scents. So they're uh, scented. So this one is the, this is the brand Manoi Maui, Manoi of Maui. This one is Tiari Gardenia. So it's Tiari flower and gardenia mixed together so it's natural coconut oil and uh, they're scented so i saw these at the macadamia nut farm but i didn't buy them i, I thought well it's just scented coconut oil i have coconut oil at home and i didn't think to like even test it to see how well scented it was i think in my mind i was thinking oh it's probably not scented to the point that you know you can't smell the coconut anymore it's probably like coconut oil with a hint of something else but no these are actually really well scented i actually have already used several times this one this is the other one i got this one is the maui tuberose so this is the tuberose scented one i wore this in my hair you guys you know how coconut you can not sometimes wear you know use coconut oil in your hair and go out or do anything because coconut oil can turn over time you know whether you had the coconut natural coconut oil for too long or whether you wore it you know or you had it in your hair for too long it can smell a little funky if you if you have old coconut you know so and even fresh coconut sometimes you don't want to always smell like coconut oil although you love coconut fragrances right so this one However, you guys, the tuberose scented coconut oil, my goodness, it smelled like tuberose. You know, it didn't smell like coconut. And what a great idea. Now I can wear coconut oil scented, you know, and smell like tuberose and, and go, I don't know, run errands while, while it like sits on my hair and I wash off later maybe. But that's amazing. So this way I will wear, I will use coconut oil in my hair more. And you know, it's really good for your hair. And also you can wear it on your skin. I don't, I have some tuberose scented lotions, but this is something I might actually wear with my tuberose fragrances. And same with this, the Tiari Gardenia. I will probably use it with my Gardenia Tiari flower fragrances. So yeah, these are really amazing. Apparently, like this is what the girls in Hawaii wear on their bodies and hair actually so i didn't buy this you know when i was in hawaii and when i posted my vlog one of my lovely subbies saw these and said oh my gosh those coconut oils those scented coconut oils those are the best i was like oh no i should have got some and then uh, luckily i went uh i looked i searched for them online and they have it on amazon you guys i will link them down in the description box for you guys check it out down there i will link them directly 
too. So now I'm going to move on to body creams and lotions. And then I have some um, skincare and some makeup and some spa stuff to share with you guys. So I also bought this uh, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Body Lotion, body cream. I will link it down in the description box for you. You guys know I have Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue on Tons. So this is perfect. I mean, it smells exactly like it. So this is something that I bought so I can wear with my light blue, layer with the, my light blue. So anyway, that kind of just spilled out of there. So that's something I bought. I will link where I found it. It's hard to find down in the description box for you guys. So now I actually, before I get to the makeup and skincare, I want to share with you guys a couple of spa products that I was sent, I received from a brand. And so I have it right here. So this is called uh, Daily Remedy. This is from a brand called Daily Remedy. They are available on Amazon. They sent me these beautiful lavender and citrus. I'll talk about citrus here in a minute, but lavender, calming lavender foot soak and lavender callus removal uh, remover gel. So there they are. So this is the foot soak. By the way, I was out of my foot soak and I was so happy to receive this. I tried the lavender scent uh, several times now actually. So the foot soak is really amazing. It's like, you know, bath salts for your feet. It's very calming. The lavender scent is really super calming and it's really great for your feet. Like when you put stick your foot uh, feed into a nice warm, uh, you know, petty spa. You can, that's what I do, by the way. I give myself pedicures sometimes. I sometimes go to the nail salon, but I tend to give myself pedicures more often because I don't have the time to waste at the salon. Every time I go to the nail salon, you guys, it takes me hours to get out of that place, no matter what. They're super slow and it takes forever. So anyway, yeah, I try to, you know, if I'm too busy when I'm watching TV at night, I would give myself a pedicure. So this is amazing for me. This is actually really good. It was very calming. It was a nice bath salt. It was scented, a lavender scented, which is super calming for nighttime especially. And then I tried their callus remover gel, which is actually really good. Um, so it's not, you know, easy to find... Um, easy to remove callus at home because you had to get like good products um, and also the what do you call that that thing that looks like a cheese grater that they use on your foot so it's hard to buy a high quality one of those <clears throat> because if you're not like a technician a nail technician it's hard to get a hold of like the really sharp ones I think that's intentional because you know for safety I think they sell you more dull ones like over the, you know that, that you can buy you and I could buy but anyway even with my slightly dull foot uh, what do you call it uh, file foot file um, this worked this callus callus remover so you what you do is you take a little bit so it's like a gel so you put a little bit um, on your hands and you kind of rub it all over your heels especially heels and all over your soles of your foot, especially so it's like a gel like that. So you just like put it on your um, foot and you put it back in the water and then you let it soak for a little bit and then you start to file, you know, with the nail file, the, the cheese grater looking thing, you guys, I know, you know what I mean? So and then the, the callus kind of comes off and it did a really good job. I just gave myself a pedicure just the night before last with these two. I really like these actually. So they actually also sent me this uh, citrus uh, scent. I haven't used these yet. So as you can see, this one is open because I used it, um, but I haven't used this scent yet, but I'm sure it's pretty nice too. Um, so yeah, thank you to uh, Daily Remedy for sending me those. Oh, actually I do want to mention one thing. So it, they come kind of with this like freebies, you know, this is kind of like a, a pumice stone that is kind of like a freebie, you know, they just throw it in there for you like an extra. It's useless, you guys. I mean, these ones are amazing. Like I like the foot soak, I like the callus remover. It, you know, just falls apart. It, it's not very sturdy, so it's kind of like a one-time use. I think they're intended to be like a one-time use type of pumice tone. It's like a disposable pumice um, 
so and i think uh, so yeah i mean it works for like one time and probably that's it so i got two of these with the package it's kind of like a freebie you know like a free thing they throw in there as an extra so it doesn't really matter to me i'm not upset i'm not mad about it i mean i really like these um so i don't care about that I will link it down in the description box. You can get them on Amazon. So now I have some makeup products I want to share with you guys. So this is from Estee Lauder. I placed an order on EstéeLauder.com. Estee Lauder is actually one of my original makeup brands that I bought from that I really, I really like them. Um, but then all these other brands came up with stuff and I forgot about them for a while. But I really, really love Estee Lauder uh, makeup. So I bought from Estee Lauder this beautiful lipstick. So this one is the Pure Color Envy lipstick. It's a sculpting lipstick and this is in the shade 260 Eccentric and I heard that this was one of the lipsticks Audrey Hepburn wore a lot. She loved to use like these like um, coral pinks a lot and even in breakfast at tiffany's in that movie she wore that beautiful coral kind of lipstick she she was very famous for that sort of shade um so yeah i actually got it engraved with my name right there you guys and it's a magnetic cap very nice so this is the shade right here i swatched twice i don't know why i did that it's a very lovely, beautiful kind of pinky, pinky, salmony, yeah, salmony pink, kind of like a, a peony pink kind of shade. So yeah, I bought this because I heard that Audrey loved this uh, this lipstick. Um, and anyway, yeah, it's a beautiful salmon pink. Um, I actually have more to say about this which I'm not going to talk about in this video. There's going to be a video coming up, a very interesting video, you know, um, I'm, again I'm not going to say anything uh, until I do the video. Uh, stay tuned for that. So that's a beautiful Estee Lauder lipstick. I love the creamy finish. Um, it's a very pretty color. And I bought from, uh, that's from Estee Lauder, and yeah, I actually got this sample. This is the Advanced Night Repair Eye Gel that I got as a sample with my purchase, which I love the Advanced Night Repair, um, the serum. By the way, Audrey adored Estee Lauder. She loved the, the like all Estee Lauder products, especially makeup, lipstick in particular. Anyway, I have a few other makeup items here. I bought another Dior Addict Shine Lipstick, you guys. Yes, I did. You guys know I can't help it with these. Oh, these are so juicy. These make my lips look so juicy. Why, by the way, this would have been a great color with today's look. I don't know why I didn't think about it. These just make your lips... I know it doesn't look like much on, on a swatch, but my God, on the lips, you guys... They look so juicy. It makes my lips look juicy and plumpy and just, oh my God, so kissable. Like so, so juicy. I love these. You guys know how much I love them. I'll link everything down in the description box. And I also got this Chanel foundation. This is the Ultra Latte Ultra Wear All Day Comfort Flawless Finish Foundation. I don't know why brands name their foundation so long, like such long names. So this is what it is. I think, oh, so this is a frosted bottle. I believe this is a matte finish. I haven't used this one yet. So I'll be putting these to the tests in coming upcoming videos, you guys. You guys know my channel has always not just been about fragrances. It's always from the very beginning. Go to the beginning of my, my channel. It's been about makeup, fragrances, and anything beauty. I'm, I didn't just start to talk about makeup, you know. I'm noticing now in the fragrance community, they're starting to all, all of a sudden talk about me, makeup to like some, you know, the, the fragrance uh, YouTubers. They are now starting to talk about makeup as well. So I think this shade is maybe a little light for me right now. This is my usual shade, but I'm a little bit tanner than usual right now because of Hawaii and pool every day, every weekend going to the pool. So this is my normal shade and this would work for me in the winter time. 
but this is a really nice finish you guys it's very velvety it's a velvety finish from what I can tell but I'll be putting these products to the test in some upcoming videos so stay tuned anyway and I also got some lipsticks and a lip liner from Lisa Eldridge so here they are I love her components by the way so these are her new um, I think new formula so I think this is from her new uh, lipstick line called insanely saturated lip color um, so this is what it looks like this is called strawberry shop so this is what the bullet looks like it's a beautiful like really bright um, kind of orangey coral red which I love her, her lipsticks you guys make my lips look like pillows and this one I think is love of my life from her like the cream lip formula and this is like her pink shade that is very popular that um, I, I believe she I think I, I think she said that Audrey wore this kind of um, lipstick shade that she formulated this uh, to from uh, a, a lipstick Audrey wore I'm not sure I know that she had um, go lightly which was supposed to be one of Audrey's lipsticks that she bought from an auction after she passed away and her estate you know had an auction but anyway so that was the cream formula and this one is velvet fawn from her regular velvet collection a uh, matte matte velvet lipstick collection so this is the one shade I have all of her now I have all of her velvet lipsticks you guys so this is the velvet fawn so this was the one missing one shade missing now I have Lisa Eldridge's entire velvet matte lipstick collection there'll be some videos coming up just stay tuned and then I bought the uh, Lisa Eldridge Eldridge lipstick liner lip liner to match my cinnabar like her velvet lipstick in the sh shade cinnabar so this is the lip liner that that is cinnabar that goes with cinnabar the lipstick also from her velvet matte lipstick collection so that's all for the makeup items right yeah oh yeah and I got this from Sephora for my birthday like that this was my Sephora birthday gift and and I got a couple of things from the Shantakai sale that Shantakai was having a having the Sylvie sale for 25% off you know the 25% off sale that they have for um, on Sylvia's birthday Shantakai founder owner so yeah this is the Shantakai perfect blur finishing powder I have been wanting to buy this for a while so I jumped on it when I saw that they were having a sale I have several Shantakai products I love their components by the way that's a nice compact so this is a finishing powder that's supposed to really blur your skin so I got it in my shade and it feels very very silky very silky oh my gosh oh yeah that's let me see so I have my foundation right here so let me put it on top of the foundation to see if it has a blurring effect and I think it does it's hard to say again there'll be a video coming up where I put these products to test this is supposed to be a really nice blurring powder and then I got this Shantakai mascara I don't really know the name I will link it down in the description box but this is supposed to have like peptides and stuff that uh, is really good for your eyelashes and helps like the growth of your lashes and stuff. So, and it's just supposed to be a really good mascara for like, you know, like volumizing and lengthening and all that stuff too. It has a slight scent to it. Um, it it's doesn't have my favorite kind of wand or the, the formula is promising though. I love mascara formulas that is not runny but a little bit creamy. Um, which helps volumize so I need to put this to the test like I said I might be doing a video very soon for you guys so stay tuned so that's that and then I have this Erno Laszlo uh, moisturizer with SPF 30 that I got from Erno Laszlo I really like Erno Laszlo products you guys Erno Laszlo goes a long way it's been around a very long time and it used to be uh, a favorite brand of you know old Hollywood celebrities like Audrey Hepburn, Marilyn Monroe 
So here is the cream. It's a beautiful little blue cream and it's so nice on the skin. Any skin type can wear it. It's very light. It's kind of like a, almost like a, not a gel, but like a very light consistency. It's very moisturizing, very hydrating. I've been using it. I love it. I'll link it down in the description box for you guys. And this is the um, Erno Laszlo Exfoliate and Detox. It's a bar soap and this, guess what, was Audrey Hepburn's favorite. Um, she used several Erno Laszlo products and this was one that she really liked. She cleansed her face with this bar apparently. And Merlin Monroe used another uh, soap from Erno Laszlo, I forget, the, it's like the mustard color one. But anyway, I really love Erno Laszlo products. I've had them for a very long time. I actually have their like exfoliator, physical exfoliator. I've had few other products before I even found out about Audrey and Marilyn Monroe and all these old Hollywood stars having loved Erno Laszlo too. I had no idea that it was a brand that old and that long standing and that prestigious. But anyway, so that's it you guys. That is all I have in this, in this collective haul. I thought I would share with you guys a little bit of everything I bought and normally share my skincare products, my body care products, my spa stuff, you know, that often. So I thought I would do a collective haul so you guys can see, you know, all the amazing products that I bought and used and, and um, am loving. Do you like this kind of collective hauls? Let me down. I've done them before, but let me know down in the description box. You prefer them over fragrance hauls or do you want me to do fragrance hauls and collective hauls? Do you want the body care, makeup, and other stuff in a different haul? How do you like it? Just chime down in the description box and also talk to me about these products. What do you think of them? Do you have some of them? Do you like the sound of some of them? Just let me know. Chime down below because if you don't talk to me, I would not know what is going on in your heads. So yeah, talk to me, people. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, take a minute to hit that subscribe button and uh, ring the notification bell. Don't forget to like this video, always is a nice thing to let me know that you love the video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I will get, see you guys in my next video.